What's going on everyone, Tech Me Out here and in this video we're gonna be talking about a few app features within our favorite applications that no one talks about. <laughs> but you still wanna know them. <laughs> So for this particular video, I actually teamed up with Softonic as they are the sponsor of today's video. But what I have for you is some very interesting information that I did not even know until I checked out the article that I'm gonna have supplied for you down below so you can read it on your own as well. But ultimately, not only will you find that article on their site, you'll also be able to find a bunch of other articles about cool, interesting things regarding apps and just different technology related things that I think you might be interested in. And if you're not familiar with Softonic, they're basically the leading global software and app discovery destination, offering the most complete selection of software and apps across hundreds of categories. Now, the very first feature that I wanna discuss with you is actually one of my favorite apps and a feature that I actually had no idea about, and that is Spotify codes. So if you're a user of Spotify, this is definitely something you're gonna wanna check out. So now you have yet another way to share songs with people on Spotify. All you have to do is open the menu next to any song or album, and then you're gonna see a code that looks a little like a sound wave. If your friend on their phone then clicks on the camera icon next to the search box and scans the code, they will then instantly have the song. It's the little things like this that make a difference because I've been around people and, you know, been listening to a song and wanted to share it and, you know, use other methods to go about doing so. So it's nice to know that something like this actually exists because uh, I'm gonna be using it from here on. <laughs> now, while we're on the topic of sharing, another thing in which you might not be aware that you can actually do is share any file within the WhatsApp app. So you're no longer limited by file type, just the size for the sharing option. So you have 120 megabytes for iOS, 64 megabytes on the web, and then 100 megabytes for Android devices. Now I'm not even gonna lie to you, I recently started using the WhatsApp app. Like I got that maybe like a month ago. I've heard of it, never used it before, but it's little things like this that kind of make me happy that I actually started using it because that's a feature that I could definitely utilize. But I'm curious though, am I the only one that's kind of new to WhatsApp? <laughs> Let me know down below in the comment section. <laughs> now, another app feature that no one seems to really talk about is the fact that Gmail actually replies for you. So what I mean by that is that you actually have quick replies at the bottom of your email of statements in which Gmail feels that you may want to say based upon the context of the email that you just received. Now, this has definitely saved me in those scenarios where I needed to reply to an email but I just didn't have the time in that moment to do so. Like my time was really constrained. But when I saw the auto replies, you basically tap on it, it loads up the email with the context in there. So you can go ahead and send it or you can add a little bit more to it. But if for certain helps when you at least wanna to respond to an email, but you don't per se have enough time to actually write it out. But I'm not gonna give you all the features of your favorite apps within this video. So be sure to check out that link down below to Softonic's website. And don't be surprised if you find yourself down a rabbit hole, so to speak, on Softonic's website of different articles like I found myself on their website. No shame, you know, no shame. But nonetheless, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.